Oh, it, it, I, I maintain the reason people are interested in humans traveling in space is because they can die. That's what makes it interesting, and you want to see if they're going to die. <laughs> and, and, um, I and, thought, but, you know, and, and, but I... thought that was NASCAR. But, what? I thought that was NASCAR that you're talking about. Uh, but, you know, but, uh, but I find... <laughs> but let Lawrence. me ask you a question. I find it... Lawrence. Okay, well, when, so I'll ask you this question. When I see a picture from the rover, I, I'm more excited about it that from coming from the rover than if it came from an astronaut taking the picture. Because the astronaut's using a camera, but the rover is taking the it's part of the rover. Let me tell you why that's yeah. probably not true, even okay. though you think it is. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> most people don't know that there were robots as well as rovers on the moon mm -hmm. while we were first going to the moon. But you didn't know anything about those because the media focused on the astronauts. And it's the astronauts through which we gain vicarious access to space. Because they have mouths, they have brains, they have a childhood memory, they have school teachers that can talk about those astronauts. And I've yet to see a ticker tape parade for a robot. So I submit... Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, one and all, to the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. What do we have on tap for you today? Well, folks, it's Neil DeGrazi or Neil DeGrazi, tomato, tomato, whatever you want to call. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser Shake, and we got something installed for you, folks. I guess DeGrazi was again at one of these, you know, symposiums or seminars, panel people, Bill and I, the science guy, and all these other people were there as well. And it got, you know, to the point where, you know how DeGrazi is. He goes on these rants. He goes on these raves, right? He has to be pulled back. He has to be restrained a little bit. He starts, you know, playing a little bit around with the truth. His truth, right? Anyways, let's get back. We'll get to that video. We'll do a little bit of analysis. But I'll tell you what, very, very spirited. A lot of fun. Let's get to it right now. Time, the Curiosity rover landed... If at that same time a human astronaut landed on Mars, you would have known nothing about the Curiosity rover. Yeah, but, it would have been relegated right. to page 30, and the front page headlines would have been humans put footprints on Mars. And it's that force which will bring less science than the robot. Let me tell you something, Neil. The only reason why that would be more important is because a robot, I don't care what it is, is not going to be able to go to the moon by itself so yes if you're telling me that what's more important having a rover or a robot on the moon or having to see the first imprint of man's foot on mars or another planet or even when neil um armstrong went to the moon of course, folks, it's going to be human endeavor. I don't know what this thing is with Neil deGrasse and all these people talking about, you know, artificial intelligence robots. Yes, they're created by humans. They're not created by themselves. So, yes, the onus is always going to be upon human achievement, not robot achievement. The only robots get any achievement if a human achieves the robot first. What? That has a power of influence yeah. on our culture that inspires an entire generation to want to do the same thing. My, my generation, my generation, when you ask my fellow scientists, should we send humans into space? No, that's too expensive, send robots. Yet they, I said, well, how did you get interested in space? Oh, because of the Apollo program. And I slap them. I'm saying, what are you... No, that's it. <laughs> no, there would on, on the other on the other hand, on the other hand, if you for, if you remember, if Apollo 13 hadn't been the dramatic failure it was, they would have canceled the rest of the Apollo. They canceled three of the last missions. There note. are three. Yeah. There are three Apollo. There are three Saturn V rockets lying on the ground around space around the, the country because they. It was so interesting that they they. Abolish the last three. No, that's, that's delusional, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's, not, it's not incorrect. That's the facts. No, no, no. You can argue with the facts. I right, watch me. Okay. okay. That's exactly what he does, buddy. That's exactly what progressives. That's exactly what liberals do. He said, "That's you can't argue with the facts." And he goes, "Oh yes, I can. Watch me, buddy." <laughs> so, 
So. Let's see. I, I, Let's I'm watch sorry. and see what Neil degrees Everybody he does like now. Their book. It's time for me to mention my latest book. It's I don't think anyone mentioned their book, actually. <laughs> 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 my most recent book is titled Space Chronicles, but that wasn't the original title. The original title was Failure to Launch. But the the Dreams and Delusions of Space Enthusiasts. And the publisher says, oh, that's too, oh, that's too depressing. You can't have the word failure in your title. It's, but that's what it's about. What you just said is a complete delusion. It presumes that we went to the moon for science. It no. presumes that we went to the moon to explore it. But that's not why we went no. to the moon. We no, went to Brother the moon. Neil, no, it is not. <laughs> no, it is not. We went to the moon because we were at war. Sputnik was not just some orbiting spacecraft, it was a hollowed out intercontinental ballistic missile where they took out the warhead and put in a radio transmitter. The military knew this, that's what founded NASA. NASA's budget for science has, it averaged over all these years about 25%. The rest has been for geopolitical purposes. All right, so it's the I don't want to die driver in this world. That's why we spent all this money. And so the moment we learn Russia's not going to the moon and it's certainly not going to Mars, we cancel the program. It had nothing to do with public interest. Okay, now let me. Now, you know, I have to give, you know, there is some truth to it because the NASA space program for the United States of America it's been completely decimated, completely gutted. I mean, what's going on at NASA? I mean, for crying out loud, India, India. Are we going to relegate India to now to a superpower status, a first world country like that of the United States? They did with a budget of which you could make a low budget film in Hollywood. India put, you know, on the on the southern on the uh one on the dark side or the other side of the moon they landed india folks and what's nasa been doing basically nothing again it's all become political it it it, it, it is it is a let, let me try i, I, I got to pull let, back yeah you got to come in but but it is. A, uh, let me try and bridge that gap a little bit. I'm going to be uh, silent. Uh, um, no, you're not. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, I think it's really important to point to point out that this is a political issue. And in fact, I, 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 me and Buzz Aldrin together testified before the House Ex Science Committee on Space Exploration. And I, I, when I said that that humans don't do science in space, I didn't argue. In fact, even before the committee, that. We shouldn't send humans in space. We should just say well, honestly why we're doing it. We're doing it for adventure. That's why we're doing it. No, that's honest. not what funded hold it. Hold on, hold on. A no, second. That's, that's not true. See, so you said no, you wouldn't talk. But, yeah, I did say. Uh, okay, okay. You, you can say that. No, no, but it, hold it's on. No, there's, there's no there there. Okay. <laughs> there, no, just, just. Just look at the history of everybody no, no. doing big projects, and it's never driven by exploration. It's never driven by science. It's never driven by curiosity. Not if it's big and expensive. It's driven by the fact that people don't want to die. So there's a war driver. It's also mm -hmm. driven by the fact that people want to get wealthy. So no, no, a hold money on. We have the large, hadron the large hadron collider. The large hadron collider. The large hadron collider. Do you know? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. White guy being chased by big black guy. Oh, run away. Run away. <laughs> Here's Bill Nye restraining. <laughs> He's got him. He's got him. Don't let Neil do anything. No, no, I got him for you, buddy. You know what's going to happen now, folks? The progressive left is going to say, oh, Neil DeGrazy was attacked by two white guys on a stage. Uh oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> This proves my point. Yeah, yeah, this proves the large hydron collider. <laughs> uh, please remind me of the total construction cost of the large hydron collider. I don't know about ten billion. About ten billion. That is six months of NASA funding. So you call that big budget? Not here in America. It's not. It's a yeah, drop NASA's in the bucket. It's about seventeen billion. Doesn't go as far as it used to. No. So, so it's expensive, but not on the scale that we're talking about here. Okay. Also, the country shared that. That's, that's not big money. Okay. Big okay. money is 
But a shuttle mission costs a billion dollars here. One I'm not saying half. it should cost that, but that's One what it and does. Half. And what, who, who writes those checks? It's people who do it for geopolitical reasons. No. no, you know who writes those checks? We do, the American taxpayers. That's who writes those freaking checks. And I wouldn't mind a bigger portion of my tax check, okay, to be going to NASA. We need to be exploring the other worlds. We need to be at the forefront. We need to be at the forefront of everything out there, folks. I don't care what it is. You talk sports, science, medicine, innovation, computers, robot technology, um, you know, name whatever you want to name. The United States of America should be at the forefront of all exploration in all fields. We should be leading the world. That's what should be happening. Not because they care about science. Our super collider, the one that you would have benefited from, the super, the superconducting super collider. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so freaking animated. It's unbelievable. That's what makes it so nice to see him when he does these things. Even though you may agree with him, you may not agree with him. He certainly puts on a freaking show, folks. He certainly puts on a show. Started to get funding in the 1980s, wasn't it? 200 yeah. mile ring. It would have been no, it 60, no. 60 mile ring. 60, 60 mile diameter. The circumference. It's 60, 60 miles around. Yeah. I thought it was 60 times. Well, take pi. it from me. It's 60. Pi? No, no, it's 60. Okay. It's it's better story with 200. Miles? Though. Brian, 60. 60. Circumference? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, I've been saying it wrong all these years. Well, like never mind. As everything else for most of your life, <laughs> there, Neil deGrasse. Thank you. Okay, no, so watch, watch. So here's a super collider. We, America, would have found the Higgs boson decades ago, all right? So what happens? The budget gets cut for reasons, oh, the cost overruns, or anything. excuse me, okay? It got cut in the early 90s. What happened in 1989? Peace broke out in Europe. All of a sudden, the physicist, who was the hero of the 20th century for making the bomb, is no longer viewed as necessary to national security. And so the, the project gets cut like that. Actually, you got it wrong. The project got cut actually for even sillier political That's reasons, right. which was the Texas congressional delegation voted the wrong way. And, the, and if we were still at war, that would have never come up. Okay. It's also the International Space Station, right? I mean, yes, that's, that's true. That's, that's, that's the top story. The bottom story is okay. we don't longer... Well, that was pretty entertaining, Neil deGrasse, you know? When he gets on a show and he starts going, folks, look out because you never know where it's going to go. With what set of facts is he going to bring out? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You were watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser, the doctor of the democracy, the MD, the republic. If you haven't done so already, you know what? Check out our video links down below. Check out our station. I hope you subscribe, like, and share. I'll leave you with my final thoughts, which is when you're right, you're right. When you're left, you're wrong. Take care, everyone, and stay safe.